So, um, why were you detained and when were you? I see. Yeah. I was detained, I think, uh, barely uh, 10 months after I was elected. Uh, I, was, I was detained barely 10 months after I was first elected as a member of parliament in 1986. I was detained in 1987 under the infamous Lalang. Uh, at that time, I was accused of five charges relating to uh, the uh, deposit taking cooperative scandal, where those who placed 1.4 billion ringgit in the 24 deposit taking cooperatives found their life savings uh, go up in smoke, disappear in thin air because of the shenanigans as well as uh, fraudulent manipulations of the directors of these deposit taking cooperatives many who are related to or linked, either they are linked directly or indirectly to Barisan National Leaders. Some of these uh, DTC or these directors were actually Barisan National Leaders, which uh, forced, I think, one of the uh, uh, Deputy Minister to resign because of his connection with the deposit-taking cooperative scandal. So this was one of the issues. The other was related to, uh, uh, I think, the uh, Chinese schools, uh, they were talking about transferring of uh, teachers who are not versed in Mandarin to Chinese schools. Uh, the other one was relating to eviction uh, of uh, the uh, uh, people from low-cost flats without providing alternative accommodation. 97 was not ISA, 98 was not ISA, 98 was imprisonment in Kajang. Okay, so that means under the Sedition Act and Printing Presses and Publications Act. Mm. Then the the one the Malacca that young Malacca yeah, one. That one was under. Is that also that means you have been under. Uh, yeah, what Printing to Presses and Publications and, and Sedition Act. Yes, I. Yeah, I've gone to jail and also. The full, also, work, <laughs> full right. works. Ah, uh, I've got a full house. Ah, uh, so to say, I gone to jail. I also gone to, uh, gone in under ISA detention. And I think people are very interested to know. What exactly is ISA? Because uh, some of the ex detainees have uh, described a lot of uh, very horrific heroin, things. Heroin yes. experiences. Now for me, it was also quite, uh, in a way, first time you went in, you never expect to be detained. After all, I cannot imagine for the life of me that when, uh, when I was only 26 years old, I was, con I was deemed, uh, as I said, I cannot for the life of me understand how when I was only 26 years old, I was deemed by the Barisan National Government as a threat to national security. That if I was not detained, the whole country would go up in ruins and descend into chaos. I think that is utterly ridiculous. What can a, how can a 26-year-old member of parliament cause chaos and ruin to his own country? I'm no security threat. If I'm a security threat then, I would think that I'm a greater security threat now, isn't it? So obviously the ISA is used as a political tool to silence dissent and to intimidate opposition, legitimate opposition. And it is always used uh, when the UMNO is in the midst of a power struggle. They will use it on opposition members so that they can distract attention from their internal problems in their power struggles or to distract attention away that they are robbing the country blind. Because one of the issues, big issues at the time was the North-South Highway contract uh, where Lim Ki Siang obtained an inj injunction in court to prevent the government from proceeding with the uh, execution of the North-South Highway contract because it was against public interest. So it was an attempt by the ruling government at that time under Mahathe to distract attention from their own failures for their own power struggle and for the fact that they were actually robbing the country blind with such unfavorable contracts that is against public interest and of course for private for the private benefit of the few. So the experience was well harrowing for me in the sense that uh, I was shocked that I was detained. And then as some of the stupid questions that was asked, what is your name? I said, if you do not know what is my name, then I should be released immediately. How can you ask me what is my name? When? You have arrested me 
under ISA. You should know what is my name. So you're just making all sorts of uh, uh, ridiculous statements. So I refuse to cooperate. I say that whatever I say would not uh, would not be properly recorded. You must well write it yourself, lah. Why should I get involved? So I refuse to cooperate and to punish me, they kept me into a, a dark a dark uh, room. What I call the blue room because everything is blue. The walls were blue, the ceilings were painted blue. And there was only a ventilator. And then there was a fan there. But the fan never worked because it was a very huge fan with reinforced blades. You know, with supports. Where the supports had reinforced supports for the reinforced blades. And at the end of the spokes, uh, the fans got spokes, isn't it? Yeah. Three spokes uh, usually. Mm -hmm. There was a huge hook. So I was asking them, how come this fan doesn't work one? No, this fan is not for for air no? or for ventilation. This fan is for us to hang those who are not cooperative on the fan and then when we switch on, we turn it around and around and around. <laughs> of course, I never took up their threat to, uh, to see whether this is true. So they tried to intimidate me and, and, and at one instance, uh, they placed me on a wooden chair for 48 hours without sleep. Only for toilet breaks in between. So when you were snorting away, you shot in your ear. And they work in six hour shift. So there are four shifts operating every day. What is it four shift or six six shift? Sorry, six shifts. Each one four hour four hour mm -hmm. shifts. Working every day around the clock. So I was really you know Then what what if you fall down up. and they ask you to sit up again? No, of course you sit on the chair. Uh. That all you know uh, light shining your face. And then sitting on a wooden chair, I was really very tired. And finally, I broke down physically, la, and that frightened them. So they called a doctor, come to treat treated me. And then uh, when I recovered, they did not use the same tactics again. <laughs>